Hello. So you need to sign in. What's your name again? Nancy. Nancy, nice to meet you. Okay. So we need to sign in here. Yes. Got it. Okay. My I, financial literacy, teaching Absolutely. kids, youth um, about financial literacy because that's a big one for me. Um, but just really being a part of the community, um, so giving back. Giving back to the youth is so important, especially kids. That they don't even know a checkbook, right? Exactly. Writing a checkbook, simple as that, right? So there's many uh, things that we can do as the club to give back. Any Anyone else? Maybe we'll take a couple more. Always test, okay. Um, All the things you said you do, retreat, fair, concern. All the bands from local Very interesting. schools and does like a battle of the band. It's good. It's a scholarship to the band. Uh, and yeah, giving back. Uh, there's international, so in February I went to Guatemala. And it's like community, like, like here teaching about, um, I'm assuming it's like drunk I need a really big refrigerator. Are you the person I talked to? There are sandwiches, and so you guys grab sandwiches and chips. And yeah. How are you guys? Good, how are you? I'm good, sir. Hey, guys. I'll pass to Lee. We have to leave by 7, so we want to. Yeah. Kevin, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. And who are you, a guest of? Nancy. Very good. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. Uh, I work in the State Farm with insurance, and I also um, raise capital for my... Uh, the Chamber of Commerce meeting right here, like uh, last week. Oh, very good. Very good. He's, he's our Westminster Police Chief, and he's one of our council members. Excellent. Thank you for being here. Um, so, for Andy and I, the Police Chief is in the Yeah. Yeah. So, we need to realize that Anna and Andy have you. Oh, art and art culture. Governor of Rory District 5320, which is all of Orange County, all the way down to San Clemente. And we have nine clubs in LA County, including Long Beach, Whittier, Lakewood, uh, Norwalk. So 40, actually, I'm sorry, we have 49 clubs because we just started a new club Yay. in Seal Beach. Yeah. Oh, and this one too, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> and this one too. I hope. <laughs> we'll be our 50. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, so, <laughs> so. You got a good number. You're always welcome and encouraged to visit other Rotary Clubs, and there are a few things that you'll find that all Rotary Clubs do at the beginning. We start off with a with the pledge. We don't have a flag, but there's a flag on the moon, right? So uh, a pledge, uh, either an invitation or some or some words. Um, what do you call it? Inspirational words. And then uh, the four-way test is which the motto that Rotarians live by. So let's we ask that you all stand and we will start with the pledge. And I will lead us and give Glenn some time there. Okay. 
Yeah, so as I said, there's a flag in there, so we'll just do it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. You may be seated. And I asked Nancy to give us um, uh, some words of inspiration today. So, Nancy. Um, so as we gather here today, let's take a moment to really reflect the power of service and the impact that we can make when we come together as a community. Um, may we be inspired by the values of Rotary, integrity, service, and leadership as we, as we um, strive to make a difference in the lives of others. Let, let us remember that every act of service, every act of kindness, um, no matter how small, has the potential to create a ripple effect um, that will create more positive change. And each of us here today hold the power to uh, ignite transformation, to uplift lives, and to plant the seed for a better future. As we embark on this journey, let us be guided to let us be guided by the Rotary's motto, which is service above self, and let our actions speak louder than our words. Thank you for being here today, and may our time together be filled with purpose, um, <coughs> inspiration, and the joy of making a difference. Excellent. I should have you guys remain standing because we do stand for. Uh, the Rotary Four Way Test. So, you'll find hear about the story and how the Four Way Test okay. got started um, at another date. But I've asked Katie Bryan, who is a. Being a retired, let me have a very, very second speech. Being a retired, in business with other people or retired himself. So, let us do the Four Way Test of the things. We think, say, or do? Is it the truth? Is it the truth? Is it fair to, to all concerned? <coughs> Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? the invocation and the four-way test. Uh, I'm going to have this go around the table and you can introduce yourself, tell us your name, your occupation. Uh, if you were invited by someone, that would be good. Um, I will go over what is Rotary and why should you join? Uh, what type of projects can a Rotary Club do? Uh, what's the cost to belong to Rotary? And uh, we also need to find out who is willing to be president. Uh, if there is to be a club, someone will need to step up to be president for the first year. And then, president, well, the president leads the meetings, brings everybody together, delegates. It's really the board that decides what happens in a, in a real Rotary Club. So that's something, but we'll need to vote on a president and see who is willing to become president. Um, what's the cost? And then questions. Uh, your questions I can answer. And then I have another long time Rotarian and past district governor here with me this evening. He can also help you answer questions. And then um, our Westminster City Council member who helped bring all of this together. And then uh, I was in the Marine Corps for two years. That's what my love is. I worked for the Navy for 30 years. But, uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm happy to be here. I just want to find out if this would be a good fit for me and uh, and do what I can. But I'm old and slow, and <laughs> just, uh, I'm here to learn. Also, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your service. Oh, you're yeah, very welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. We just want to be a better partner and help our city and our students go together. Uh, my name is Chris Nidrum. Uh, I'm a resident here in Westminster. Have been since. Uh, Rotarian uh, Santa Ana Club and started here. So right now I'm not in Rotary, but I'd like to get back into it. Rotary is all the way through my family. I'm in the military, so I'd like to see it. Years. Maybe not now, but she was. 
So she knows the secret word, a handshake, everything. <laughs> <laughs> and we will, you know what, Tom will go to you, then we'll come back to our newest guest. Okay. Uh, and hi, everybody. My name is uh, Todd Hanley. Now some of the kids pretend that they're dead. They arrest the kid, put him in cuffs right in front of his classmates. Very, very powerful. And we've been doing that for a lot of years. We find that. We do uh, the Napoleon arrest. We do a food drive. We do a food drive. Just stand out in front of the market, and we ask the shoppers. We give them a list and say, you know, can you help us with a food drive? If you can, here are some items you could buy. We collect close to 2,000 pounds of food. There's an organization in Anaheim called Grandma's House of Hope. They have houses that, it's mostly, it started off with women and their children, women in transition, but I think it's grown and they have about six or seven houses. So we donate that food to them to feel very- On social media and I built all my cars and um, it led me to real estate. And so my big goal is obviously to return our parents and um, I like have a house that I'm here and um, while doing that I realized like it's, it's so small like why not just help my parents why not help everyone okay. it was a placenta rotary club who came back from Guatemala and said he's there on a water project but he talked to someone yeah. about uh, and with your guys partnership a lot of things can happen in our community and in the city of Westminster so thank you so much for coming out Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and just say hi and introduce yourself. Yeah, cool. Did you introduce yourself? You didn't ask me in advance, so I did prepare. Okay, so I have a couple questions for you guys. Since this is the purpose today is to see what this club is gonna be and what you guys want it to be. So my question to you guys is, what are your passion, what are your goals, what would you like to see this club to be? So throw me a couple things. Anyone want to go first? Mm -hmm. I know you do. <laughs> I know you. you well, want I've, I've been active in the community. Whoa. When I've been here for here today, it's an opportunity for me to learn more. I apologize for coming late, mm -hmm. but um, I think you know our passion always is really to bring our community together. And you know when we are uh, making an effort to come together, how do we make this more inclusive and make sure that more um, members of the community feels invited? I think that's really where, where I come from. I work in the disability space, it's always equity, inclusion, and access. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of the focus that I hope this club will be able to do. And I mean, looking at this room, I think definitely yeah. diversity. Yeah, it is diversity. So. Awesome. This woman is awesome. So anyone else who has a couple passion that you want to accomplish, just throw it out. Because, yes, ma'am. Implemented, and then it comes out in what we call the manual of procedure. Right. It's so. Um, just giving back to them and really um, treating them differently than they may get treated on a daily basis. So um, I do stand behind that, along with uh, every other initiative that we may put together and bring to the community of Westminster. So I do like how everybody has come together, and yeah, it's a lot of diversity in here. Um, older, younger, and I think we can all learn from each other. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Nancy? Speak louder. Can't uh, they can't hear you I'm back sorry. there. So they're talking about homelessness, say, mental oh, illness. Giving <laughs> back. I'm not that. I'm not saying that. Giving back to the community, giving causes with, you know, kids and whatnot. So anybody else that, what's your passion? Youth services, um, mm -hmm. just being a, in the credit union realm, I, I financial literacy, teaching Absolutely. kids, youth um, about financial literacy because that's a big one for me. 
um, but just really being a part of the community. Um, so giving back. Giving back to the youth is so important, especially kids. That they don't even know a checkbook, right? Exactly. Writing a checkbook, simple as that, right? So there's many uh, things that we can do as the club to give back. Any Anyone else? Maybe we'll take a couple more. Nancy? I think a lot, at least for my parents, they didn't really understand the American system, mm -hmm. taxes and mm -hmm. you know education and all the different tiers of, of how to progress and change the mindset from a Caribbean mentality, you know, to an American, you know, growth, mm -hmm. the opportunities that are here. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. One last one. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else have a vision, goal that they want to get accomplished? Legacy. Yeah. To create a big system embassy of like all over the world you know the philippines vietnam all over mexico to help immigrants get over here and stabilize themselves yeah and apply help them apply for all the programs that we have and the programs that um, most people don't even know we have absolutely yeah. and you know as we have educators here mm -hmm. that can give back um you know finance advisor right with the bank so she can give back as well uh, also, you know, with the council, we have Menzo, as well as myself, we can always connect you guys. And then also with Orange County Supervisor, they can, they will have a lot of resources that we can connect as well. So with that, I am so happy that you guys voice your opinion of what the club, how you would like it to be. So today, welcome. Thank you for coming to our first meeting uh, and taking your time out of your busy schedule to be here uh, with us today. That's amazing. And as you guys already know, my name is Amy Fan West. Today, I want to share with you guys the power and the purpose of joining the Rotary Club. As you heard Roy mentioned earlier with different things that we can do to impact our community. And so um, first and foremost, being a part of the Rotary Club means being a part of the community of passionate individual committed to making a difference as you guys were introduced to many passionate people earlier today, right? And then also, uh, whether it's through local services project or global initiative, like Nancy was talking about, Rotary members come together to create positive change, like what Roy was talking about today. By joining the Rotary, Rotary Club in Westminster, you have the opportunity to network with like-minded individuals to share uh, your values and dedication uh, to service, which is, he's talking about all volunteers today. And uh, these connections can open doors professionally and personally, enriching your life in ways you may not have imagined. But beyond networking, being a part of the Rotary means being a part of something bigger than yourselves. Um, it's being a catalyst for change, like earlier, and uh, the force for good in the world. Whether you're volunteering at a local soup kitchen, participating in a fundraising event, like Roy was talking about, or traveling abro abroad to support hum humanitarian project. Every action you take as a Rotorin has the potential to transform lives. So let's not forget the personal growth and fulfillment that comes from serving others. And through the Rotary, you will have the opportunity to develop leadership skills, which all of you guys have, and we can continue to sharpen ourselves. Uh, expanding your horizon and experience the joy that comes with making positive impact on those in need. And like many of you guys, that's your vision as well. So if you're looking for a reason to get involved in the Rotary Club in Westminster, California today, look no farther. Join us in our mission to make a, the world a better place, one community at a time. Together, we can achieve great things and leave a legend, lasting legacy for service and compassion. So this is what I look forward uh, to you guys doing to, for our community here in Westminster and locally. So thank you so much for letting me have the opportunity to share and welcome. Yes. Um, so are you going to join us? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I was kind of wondering myself. Got him. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. She kept saying you guys. Yeah. You guys. Yes. We, well, not me, because I'm too, not. Right? Well, I'm in hell. I'm in hell. He's going to retire. Leave. I know. But you know what? 
I always say it's kind of hard to hide in a small rotary club. When you're in a club that size and they ask for volunteers. <laughs> Thank you.